Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the middle of December already. December 15th. What does that mean? 10 more days to Christmas. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it already. Well, welcome to the Youth Services Book Chat here at the Amherst Public Library. And we're going to start with the wee little books first. And I have a very fun one called Big Bear, Little Bear by Maureen Schneider. Big Bear, Little Bear. Big Bear's boots, Little Bear's boots. Big Bear's car, Little Bear's car. Isn't that a funny one? Big Bear's coffee, Little Bear's coffee. Big Bear's house, Little Bear's house. Come and check out whatever else Little Bear and Big Bear have in these pictures. It's so cute, Big Bear, Little Bear by Maureen Schneider. And then, who ever watches the Today Show? If you do, co-host and meteorologist Dylan Dreyer wrote Misty the Cloud. Very stormy day. Where do you see the illustrations in this one? Illustrations are by Rosie Butcher. Claire stepped into the buyer's box. She looked up and smiled. Perfect weather for our game. Not a single cloud in the sky. There was a cloud in the sky, far beyond where Claire could see. That cloud's name was Misty. She was a few thousand feet above the ball field, out over the horizon in a town named, what else? Horizon. Misty wasn't smiling at all. In fact, she was having a miserable day. Let's find out why. That morning, Misty had been fast asleep, dreaming about happy things. For example, the colorful balloons that often soared up from the earth when an airplane whizzed by, waking her up from her dream. How rude, she said. And that made Misty feel, well, a little stormy. Misty usually enjoyed reading, but today it wasn't making her feel better. So she decided to look for a friend to play with. Wispy will cheer me up, she thought. He knows how to have fun. Why don't you come and check out Misty the Cloud, a very stormy day, and see if Misty's storm day gets any better. And we have a book called The Barn. This is by Leah Rogers. The Barn. I am a barn. That's simple enough. I was built by many hands over 100 years ago. Ropes lifted my parts into place. Neighbors made my structure tall and secure, laying the foundation that roots me to earth. Putting up the posts that held my spread cedar walls. Triangles keep me sturdy. Large wooden beams bear my weight. I am a barn. When the sun begins to grow over the treetops, I watch as the low, creeping fog lifts high into tall grass and strands of sunlight reach through my cobwebbed windows. My animals wait eagerly for their morning meal. Their whinnies and coos flood my aisle. I am a barn. My chickens amble out of my coop to peck and dig for berry bugs. My horses are let out of their stalls to carry young riders on their saddlebacks. Why don't you check The Barn by Leah Rogers and see what else the experiences are happening at The Barn. And here we just said 10 days to Christmas. So we got a really cool book in called Peanuts Countdown to Christmas with a story a day. Oh my goodness, wouldn't this be a fun one to have for the month of December? This starts with, yes, December 1st. Mix up at the North Pole. Well, let's take a peek at what December 15th is. Are you ready for it? It's called a sweater for Snoopy. Peppermint Patty liked a lot of things. She liked ice skating and spending time with her friend Marcy. She also liked Chuck, whom almost everyone else called Charlie Brown. She liked knitting too, so she 
decided to make a Christmas gift for Chuck's dog, whom she called that funny-looking kid with a big nose, and whom everyone else called, you guessed it, Snoopy. In the weeks leading up to Christmas, when Peppermint Patty wasn't ice skating or spending time with Marcy or getting yet another D- minus on a test, she was knitting. She wanted to make the perfect Christmas sweater for Chuck's dog. She even learned how to knit a pattern with snowflakes and trees on it. That kept her busy. When it was finally ready, she folded it up, put it in a box, and sent it to Chuck. Then she called to make sure it had arrived safely. Hey, Chuck, Peppermint Patty said when Charlie Brown answered the phone. Did your dog get the Christmas sweater I knitted for him? Charlie Brown had just helped Snoopy put on the sweater when he heard the phone ring. Yes, thank you very much, he told Peppermint Patty. Did he like it, she asked. Yes, he liked it, Charlie Brown told her. Was he wildly enthusiastic about it, Peppermint Patty asked. Was he what, Charlie Brown asked, thinking he must have been imagining the words he just heard. Was he wildly enthusiastic, Peppermint Patty said again. Charlie Brown looked at Snoopy, or what he could see of him. The dog was covered from head to tail in a cocoon-shaped Christmas sweater. It would have been perfect for a regular dog, but Snoopy was not a regular dog. Snoopy's head hung low. He was standing on all fours instead of on his hind legs, like he usually did. He was not enthusiastic at all. But Charlie Brown did not want Peppermint Patty to know that, since she had worked so hard to make the sweater for Snoopy. Yes. He was wildly enthusiastic, Charlie Brown told Peppermint Patty, even though it wasn't true. That's great, Chuck, said Peppermint Patty. Happiness is a warm puppy, so he must be feeling very warm now. That, that he was. In fact, Snoopy was so warm that when Peppermint Patty hung up the phone, Charlie Brown helped Snoopy take off the sweater. And Snoopy did his happy dance. We all know what that looks like. Come and check out the other days on the Countdown to Christmas with a story a day. Boy, we hope you enjoyed every one of our books today, and we hope to see you back here at the Amherst Public Library. Thank you.